You're watching the World News here on Press TV. We're coming to you live from our headquarters in Tehran. Many thanks for joining us this hour. Now, Saudi Arabia has prepared a draft resolution that condemns Iran and Russia for, quote, intervention in Syria. The draft text has been presented to the UN General Assembly's Human Rights Committee. It was co-sponsored by Qatar and a number of other countries, including the United States. Now, the draft resolution condemns attacks against what it describes as the Syrian moderate opposition calling for a stop to them. The tax also condemns the presence of foreign forces fighting alongside the Syrian government, including Hezbollah. Iranian and Syrian delegates have strongly denounced the resolution. The Syrian delegate said Saudi Arabia and Qatar have no right to lecture anyone on human rights. Saudi Arabia's move comes as it has already been facing a strong condemnation over human rights violations inside and outside the kingdom. Riyadh has repeatedly been condemned for committing war crimes during the ongoing war on Yemen. Let's speak to Rodney Martin. He's a former U.S. congressional staffer, and he joins us on the line from Los Angeles. Many thanks for joining us here on Press TV, Mr. Martin. Now, uh, as many have put it, it is a very ironic stance that Saudi Arabia is taking, specifically considering its own role in Syria. Well, you know, for Saudi Arabia to be uh, sponsoring anything, and the Human Rights Commission is so laughable, laughable, farcical, and intellectually dishonest that it doesn't warrant uh, a response. But, of course, it will use its alliance with the United States and its backdoor alliance with the Zionist State of Israel to advance this resolution, which what it, this resolution really is, is a confession on the part of Qatar, the United States, and Saudi Arabia that it has been sponsoring an illegal invasion of Syria in an attempt to topple the legitimate government of Syria by use of ISIL. Let's understand that these three bandits, the United States, Qatar, and, and Saudi Arabia, have sponsored ISIL. They've been they, for propaganda reasons, have sponsored an artificial group called the Moderate Rebels, which there's no difference between the Moderate Rebels and ISIL.